Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a video on Sailing Arrow where we're going to be talking about trading and guilds a little bit as well, and how to make the most bang uh, for your buck. Because trading is, I would say, dare say, a good 80 to 90% of this game sometimes. Well, for me personally, there's a story, there are four main characters. Right now, we're currently in the Japan character, uh, starting out in uh, Asia. Quite lucrative, lucrative. Right now, we've done, I've got about 250,000. I spent a lot uh, getting a guild up investing in nagasaki but let's actually go right up to the map because right now we're in hanyang which has a festival once festivals start hitting that's where you want to put your money festivals by far i mean you can kind of gauge uh what sells the best where but it's not the easiest way to make money uh festivals festivals they will buy anything for a good amount of money uh it doesn't matter what it is as long as you go somewhere else but yeah let's talk about prosperous Right now they got a depression depression is good for you because you can buy that very very cheap and sell it for exorbitant prices nagasaki does have quite a bit of depression going on as well manila's got quite one going down there they've got a festival but normally for right this video we're going to be doing some local festivals and this will go on for about a month or so then it switches and it kind of rotates uh, so there's always a festival going on somewhere, it does seem. So quite a bit to make money. Uh, but we've got about four ships as well. Let's actually show that off. Because we've got about ten in the cargo space for trading. I put everybody back in the main ship. Although you do want to put uh, captains if you're going to be heading out to battle. Very low chance you're going to get into a fight. I've only gotten in like three fights and they've all been intentional. Uh, never been ambushed anywhere. Uh, generally, though, if you don't have a captain on the ship, they're pretty much useless. And even when you have a captain on the ship, they're kind of useless. I've had to win every fight by myself, usually. Uh, but, yeah, we've got a decent amount. We've got about 10 storage space for that, so that's not too bad. First off, let's talk about the government office. Uh, about, I do believe every port has one. Sometimes they call it different stuff, though. Uh... You can't get a guild once you get a hundred contribution. You get contribution through trading, doing various quests, etc. The bounty quests uh, are not worth it. I will definitely say. Yeah, like you can get a sixty thousand here, and maybe if you want to do some quick port contribution, but all in all, you will usually take a lot of damage on your ships. And that will cost about a third of that bounty to fix. So, really worth it? I don't feel like it is to me. Uh, also report discoveries you find out in the world as well. That is kind of few and far between. Doesn't happen a lot. Uh, but once you get up 100 contribution, you can start a guild. Actually, I think it's 200. Apologies. Uh, yeah, let's have to go in here. Yeah, we can at 200 get a guild establishment going as well. We will show off. I've right? got a guild in Nagasaki. We will show that off. And the first 100 you get, they usually have a unique uh, thing to trade. You will be able to trade that. And it's usually a high-end, pretty good item. And then eventually you'll get, you can invest more in your guild. And at 600, you don't have to pay that 10% tax anymore, which is very nice. And then you can even invest even more there. And once you spend that contribution, you still have the same level. Like I have 300 in the top right right now. That never goes down. So the more you get in, yeah, so it's basically pretty easy stuff. Uh, but all right, let's get out of here. Get back to port. And we'll go to the sword. We actually want to go to the Commerce Guild as well. It just ties in with the trading. There are generally contracts, and if you want to get... Sometimes the deals are good. Like, if I could get some Jadeite and some Tortoiseshell, that's 120 port contribution, and about 105. Though, that would be a bit of work, though. Would have 120 days to do it. But I don't think I actually know where any Jadeite is currently. We'll get some rice. That's pretty easy. 40 port contribution. Not really worth our time, though. But then you submit them here. And you get your port contribution. Usually, you make a little bit of a profit. Kind of depends on the contract. Definitely worth doing if you do want to get... Uh, unlock all those items. And maybe start a guild in every town. But for right now, what we want to do... We do have the... Somebody in the map room, so we can't auto-sell to make this a bit faster. But let's go sell preparation. There's also a dock where you can store goods, and sometimes when there's depression and you can't get everything out, 
You might want to just buy it up and leave it at the dock because you can usually hold about 200 stuff per dock. And you can just sell it and sell it back to the place later when there's a festival going if you really want to do that. All right. Let's view routes. They've got a depression. Like I said depression is good. And we'll just auto sale. And generally, yep, just easy peasy, especially when you have the auto sale on. Somebody with some decent uh, mapping skills. Let's take all in all, take about four days. I doubt the festival is going to end anytime soon. Okay, now we're here at the other port in Hanzhou. We got about 22 contribution. I haven't done a lot of trading here. Buying stuff doesn't count as that. But I right, can see we got 250,000 right now. And right now these are all about the brass, I think. Because it's got uh, 6% off on the ship spikes, though. I think we can go for that first. So now. And we'll get a little bit of brass, too. We're going to be spending about 10,000. Not a lot. So let's head back out. And we'll be doing this uh, quite a bit of time, but it is just such good money. And then you can use go down to Hangzhou out here. There's always a place that has books, skill books, etc. Kind of pricey, usually about 70,000-ish. So this is a good way to get some quick cash to get all that as well. All right, we're gonna. Oop, I forgot to auto sale, but that's not a big deal. We'll just go full sales up. The auto sailing kind of just also fast forwards time a little bit too. This is a quick, easy run. We spent about ten thousand. Unfortunately, we got to pay the ten percent tax here, uh, but that's not terrible. Now we're gonna go to the store here. They're buying everything. As you can see, selling that for 117%. Selling the brass for 136%. If you wanted to buy here, buying during a festival, don't do it. <laughs> Insane prices, you're not gonna make any money off of that. Alright, so we're gonna be making about 21,000. We do have to pay a 10% tax. So we basically just doubled our money. And actually, I could go buy some more ships. And we can get a little bit more space too. But not bad. Yeah, we made a profit of 10,000. Didn't really do too much. They do have market serving as well. And you can, uh, from the inns and stuff, you can sometimes find people that will update prices for certain places. So you can see the trending, what's selling, what's going as well. This is everything we've unlocked currently. What's going up, what's going down. I myself have really just ignored all this the i think myself personally just watching the sales how much it's selling for in that port picking up stuff in depression areas and then heading out to festivals big money maker big money maker uh but let's head out again we do not want to buy anything here because yeah it's just a little a little too much so we're gonna head out again and we we could head out again because Hangzhou is pretty quick pretty easy but I do want to show off the guild we have in Nagasaki even though the character's home is in Sakai we could eventually open up something there as well because see there we've got more goods we quite don't quite know what it is but Nagasaki we have unlocked Katana but let's actually fill supplies you can get the game does auto save it auto save whenever you leave a port or enter a port so exploring sometimes you're going to do that because sometimes you won't have the maps maps also generally are about seventeen thousand. so definitely you're going to need a little bit of money for that but let's just go down to nagasaki set the route takes about three days generally in this area there will be like a uh two swords clashing when there's a dangerous area i've hung around it a while and i i've really never had any problems you will see pirate fleets around here but unless you fight them they they mind their own business so oh 
All right, my guild has been developed. Yes, all right. Because I actually gotten back to normal, so prices might not be as good. But let's get into guild a little bit and talk about this. A good storage limit plus 10. Oh, nice. I do believe that's at the main port. Okay. So let's go into guild overview right now. Because right now I've got trade we get one trade fleet uh, to be dispatched. We do have to keep modifying and growing the guild as well. But we can invest... Yeah, in more stuff. They grow the city as a whole. It is going to cost a bit of money, though. All right, we did get some gunpowder fur and a banana, though. We went down to Manila. Okay. Um, Let's send you out again. Uh, I'm going to go over there as a... And let's just head out to hang out. Let me send that blue-white porcelain. That's pretty good stuff. Preference, but they might come back with some other stuff. All right, so that's going to take a month. going to cost us a little bit. I was looking into investing because we can show off the tree. I've been investing quite a bit. Yeah, but 400. Spice output is up 50%. Increases the port size. Sells premium goods, the good stuff. And that's just in the trading pool. Beverage output plus 50%. Medicine output 50%. Locks more items and boutiques for the store. Trading range. Hardware output. The all this is to make the trading more lucrative. So in the end, it will pay off for you. Uh, plus, also with shipyards, the higher your tech level the better stuff you can modify uh, your gear with. But all right, let's, I'm gonna put a little bit of money in here. Let's see, let's spend a little bit. We're gonna make this back. But generally now I think I have to put down 10,000 at the minimum. All right. Level, yeah, so right now it's stagnant because we're not putting any money in. Okay, let's just keep Throwing about 30,000. I don't know if we're going to trade here. Let's look at what they have. What are the prices? We're not going to trade here. As you see, this is... Uh, festivals, you would get a little more. But this is about at market price. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. Hey, yeah, let's go somewhere else. I will take my goods, though. That we claimed earlier. We can always take that. You will find that, of course, in the uh, pier warehouse. Let's take that. Game does also remind me a lot of Uncharted Origins, but nicer. I think they are coming out with another one. I think it's Uncharted Waters Origins. And there's a new one coming out, but it looks kind of mobile-y. Uh, some people like this game because it's got a little bit of anime style to it. Uh, so each to his own. But let's get out of here. Say you're in an impression Nagasaki, but I don't feel... Yeah, you're normal now. A plague. Now that a plague can kind of mean a little bit... Ah, uh, but the depression. I don't know if that's going to be worth it. So let's head back to hands out. Depression is good for us. And it's not too far away. We, we want to grab the festival as fast as we can. We're going to make our money back. Uh, from what we already spent in the guild, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so let's head out. And basically, yeah, running this, you can do this anywhere. Uh, because there'll be festivals all over the world. And your trading will get better. XP, you're leveling up. Yeah, it was running more and more cargo. It's very enjoyable. It's a money-going-up simulator, and I, I do like, kind of like that. But does have story. I've been ignoring it for a couple years now. Okay, let's do one more trade here. I see it takes them a while to restock so they don't. 74%. Um. Let's all grab the brass and a little bit of this peach wood. Okay, boys, it's been about 6,900.
Did I actually just sell that? I hope I did not sell that. Oh, uh, let's see. I might have, I might have made a boo-boo. That's all it's taken for me. That's what you never want to do. Because I bought, but then I also sold. So we, yeah, we lost a little bit of money on that one. Apologies on that. Uh, but we'll make it back right here real quick. Yeah, never sell uh, uh, during a depression. Not even if you're desperate or what I. Okay, so let's head out. We're going to make that money back now. And uh, all these sailors do cost a little bit. Of, it's a couple thousand a month. Easily able to maintain. We've got about 249 right now. And you don't have to max it out. I do, just in case you run into trouble. But you could cut it a little bit if you want to maximize your profit. Let's head in the store again. And see, 131 percent, 124%. 128%. All very nice. And we made about a profit of 11,000. Now you just keep running this during festivals, and it definitely piles up. Um, but right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a little bit of a tutorial. Let me know any tips and tricks uh, you have. Uh, you also will find some treasures, some other stuff. That's kind of one time stuff. There's also land expeditions. Uh, but I haven't really been too lucrative. But you can just occasionally kind of find some nice, interesting events and things. But generally, yeah, festivals are your bread and butter, I do feel. I feel like the long trade. You can also do that if I take goods from one area and I travel very far out. Sometimes it can be very lucrative. But festivals, easiest. Fasting money, uh, fasting money earner. Alright, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll be doing some more videos on Sailing Era as I progress, but... Very enjoyable, would highly recommend, and I will see you in the next one.